everyone, happy almost summer, and nothing says summer like a shark movie rant. That's right, today we're talking about The Meg, and actually I really like this movie, but I do know it has some problems. Now I know many others, such as Everything Wrong With and Screen Rant, have covered the science and stupidness aspect of this movie. So instead, today we'll be focusing on more of the plot hole problems in the movie, or moments I found interesting throughout the film. Now let's be honest, I know we all watch The Meg for one of two reasons. The plot? or the awesome shark action. But to be honest, this movie is actually a pretty solid piece of work. Now, does it have some problems? Of course, but name a movie that doesn't. But for what the movie sets out to do, it does, and with a little flair and style of its own to bring it together. It's a movie that knows the audience, just wants to see Jason Statham fight a shark, and that's exactly what we get, if not more. But seeing as this is a rant video, of course I do have some problems with this film, and I'm here to bitch about them. So sit back, put those shark fins in the air, and let's begin. My first rant comes from the starting point of this movie. And let me tell you, if I was part of this crew and we were expeditioning into unknown territory, especially if that said unknown territory is located in somewhere as terrifying as the ocean, the last thing I'd want to do is make my presence known down there. And yet, that's the first thing these characters do. And yes, I know the ocean gets dark down deep like that, but lighting up both the ship and the rover seems riskier than needed. I just mean, if you're going to go down to dangerous depths like that, anyway and have light, at least don't make it enormous amounts of light that could attract attention to your location to anything, Meg or not. My next rant is focused on the events shortly after the crew gets stuck down in the dark depths of the Mariana Trench, when Su Yin decides to take a ship and go after her fellow crew members. But before going, she has to tell her 8-year-old daughter Mei Ying why she has got to go. Now here's my problem with this. I know the characters claim no one made her go. It was her choice. But man, I want to like this mother, but if she is not the worst parent in some of these situations. I mean, as a parent, shouldn't you be, I don't know, more cautious of going into deadly situations that will likely kill you when you have a child? And apart from that scene, though, she brings Mei Ying on the boat with them later when they try to take on the Meg for the final time. I mean, come on, Su Yin, have some parental awareness. My next point covers two bases. One is that none of these people know how to stay on a boat to save their lives. I mean, at least three or four people fall into the water at one point or another in this movie. One of them even twice. And then there's the moment when Jonas is being pulled by the boat with a cable, and yet somehow doesn't seem to be snapped in half or even cut up his hands. I mean, at that speed and that distance, he would have experienced some sort of damage, but nope, okay, just on to the next scene, I guess. Now, my final rant is going to be covering a character death. Spoiler alert, Dr. Heller dies. And no, it's not how he dies that bothers me, but why his death is kind of dumb. Now, in this scene, we see two of the characters, one being Jax and the other, of course, being Heller. And, well, the two of them are somewhat attempting to paddle back towards the boat, Jax realizes that they are both in danger when she spots the Meg nearby. And Heller realizes the two of them will not make it back in one piece. So he ultimately decides to sacrifice himself, which is a good character redemption choice, I suppose but painfully dumb seeing as Jax, no offense, being alive doesn't really do much for our characters. Because you see, one thing I forgot to mention is, well, these characters were out in the open water. We find out, spoiler alert again, Su Yin's father is suffering from dire injuries. And all I'm saying is, who would have been more useful in this situation? A tech whiz hacker or a professional doctor? Anyway, for what it is, I like it, and it's a fun and entertaining summer blockbuster that is sure to bring along a few laughs if not for the silliness. But either way, I would highly recommend and will watch again and again. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed and are having a great day. But for now, this is Sherlock Fan Number 1 signing off. Bye!